something about the way that you understand. We don't need a rush and we don't need to make no plans. You say, pace yourself, slow it down. I don't want to waste my days with no one else I love how it feels Killing time, you and I Hours, minutes, days and nights Trading all of our deadlines For conversations over wine Killing time, you and I In this moment we're alive Infatuated with your eyes And the way they look at mine when we're killing time What's going on, everybody? This is Brian O. This is a Valentine's Day edition of the Hunt for the Good Stuff. Where am I right now? The Design District. When I first moved to Miami, I thought it all looked like this. I think I was watching too much Entourage, but it's absolutely stunning. If you want to walk around and just kind of appreciate artwork in all of its forms, this is the district that you want to be in. This is the part of town that makes you feel like the Beverly Hills of Miami. Being that it was a special occasion, me and my girl were discussing a couple options and we settled on L'Atelier de Joël Robuchon. It's a two Michelin star rated restaurant in Manhattan. I've actually been there before and I had a fantastic time. My girl's never been, this is a totally different Valentine's Day menu, so I said let's give it a shot and it was quite an experience. The way this place is designed, it's super sexy, very sleek, it's a little bit dim in there, but it just really accentuates everything that you need to look at. It's kind of like a, a sensory deprivation effect, and then it focuses all your energy on what you need to be looking at, what you need to be tasting. So you have all these individual lights literally shining down in the perfect area right in front of you to highlight the dish that you're about to enjoy. Okay, so let's see what 175 will get you for a Valentine's Day tasting menu. First course, two items came out. You had the parsnip espuma with blood orange reduction. Simultaneously, you also got to enjoy the foie gras royale with parmesan foam and emulsion of Mari Vie Vin, which basically translates into old vine wine. For the next course, we got to enjoy caviar and Alaskan king crab, crustacean jelly, celery vanilla cream. Also, a uh, hamachi sashimi with cilantro, guacamole, and a yuzu dressing. And the next course, you could treat it like a pasta course. We got the langoustine ravioli with black truffle and a foie gras sauce. Also, black truffle Parisian gnocchi with celery yak and mimolette tuile. Every tasting menu has its main event, and this one was no exception. So, for the fish option, there was the wild Atlantic black bass with shiitake chutney, middle neck clams, and a curry emulsion. Also, grilled wagyu rib cap with a peppercorn sauce, winter vegetable medley, and black truffles. Both of these exquisite, really the centerpiece of the meal, rightfully so. So after the main event, we go into the pre-dessert. So here, it's le mojito. So it's a rum gelée with mint sorbet and a lime foam. Very refreshing, very prominent on those flavors. And you gotta finish off strong with a proper dessert. So passion fruit mousse, coulis, chocolate sherbet, cake, and crumble. This one was so beautiful. I mean, look at this red. It just catches your eye right from the beginning and it screams Valentine's Day. Not to mention that it's in the shape of a heart and it tastes delicious. The chocolate dessert was basically the only dessert that they had on the tasting menu, but my girl doesn't like chocolate. I know she's crazy, but it's more chocolate for me. So they substituted her dessert for a lemon sherbet with dehydrated raspberries and fresh raspberries as well. She really enjoyed it. What's cool about the high-end tasting menus is they're always full of surprises. So stuff that's not on the menu gets to show up and it's a good way to kind of finish off the experience. This was no exception. I love passion fruit anything and they offered us passion fruit marshmallows, which was very unique in the presentation. The block underneath it was ice cold, so it kept at the temperature that it was supposed to be. But those little syringes that you see on top or little squeezy things, 
filled with tequila. So he had like a tequila passion fruit marshmallow thing, which was quite delicious to finish off the experience. Another delicious experience in the books. Thanks so much for tuning in. You keep watching, I'll keep hunting, and I'll see you soon, okay?